Our family loves donuts. We don't eat them very often, but when we do, it's an event. I can remember one very specific and very dangerous U-turn that Dad pulled when we saw the hot sign flashing oh, at yeah. Krispy Kreme. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we generally started every road trip with a stop at the local donut shop. But you know, like, local donut shops don't exist anymore. They're yeah. like big chains, and the donuts just don't taste like they used to. It's like that not-from-scratch taste. Right, I mean, they're all sort of the same exact shape, and they taste like chemicals, and they all look the same. And I miss that kind of, like, misshapen, fresh out of the fryer kind, yeah. of, kind of taste that you just don't get anymore. Yeah. So, I decided to try to make them myself. Cool. I always thought that was hard, making donuts. Yeah, I thought that too, and then, I tried it and it's really easy. So you just start with some flour and some baking powder, baking soda, salt, and cinnamon. Mm. You can use any spice you want, but I really like cinnamon. You can also use ground ginger or maybe a little clove or some nutmeg or something like that. Mm. Or you can leave them out all together and just make a plain cake donut. That would be good. Most excellent. And then just two tablespoons of butter and some sugar. Stir that around. One egg goes in like that. This couldn't be any easier. Buttermilk adds a sort of like lightness but a, a tanginess as yeah. well and it, it really tenderizes the bake good as as well as you know the egg and the sugar also help. Kind of like the pancake, butter. like buttermilk pancakes yeah, exactly. and stuff. There's exactly. hardly any time I would make something with milk when I could make it with buttermilk. And then you just add the flour, the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. You end up with more of a a, a dough that's like sugar cookie batter, and that's mm -hmm. like the right that's the right consistency. So basically, you just put this in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes, and then you can leave it in there for up to three hours if you'd like. Um, and then we form them and we fry them, and we're done. Now that the dough is chilled, it's time to form the donut holes. And what I discovered is that using a one teaspoon measure makes the whole process so much easier. Usually with donuts, you traditionally roll them out and you have to have special cutters and then you have to get all your scraps together and roll them out again. Uh, and that takes forever and you have to let the dough rest and all this nonsense. But if you just use this little scoop, rounded scoop, you can create these little, mm. little nuggets of dough that fry up just like regular donut holes. And you have promised me that these are going to get bigger, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> they start small, but they puff. And what I really love about this method is that it gives them that kind of like rustic and sort of homemade look that I'm mm. jonesing for. Once all the dough has been formed, it's time to get to the good part. It's time to fry them up. So what we've done is we've heated some vegetable oil in a skillet to about 325 or 350 degrees. And while your oil's heating, whisk together some cinnamon sugar. Mm -hmm. We're going to dredge the donuts in that when they come out of the, out of the oil. Um, you can use any sort of run-of-the-mill skillet, but the bigger area you have, it's sort of like anything else. You want more space so that the donuts can, can fry. Have space to swim? Yes. <laughs> so then you just drop in your donut holes and there's the sizzle. How many can you put in there at one time, would you say? Um, you know, maybe like 10 or so. So we're going to fry them on this side for like one to two minutes and then once they get really golden, we're going to flip them over. You want them to be really nice and crispy because that's what gives you that crispy crunch yeah. on the outside and then that really tender, Cakey. warm inside. Oh, I love that. Three to four minutes in the oil and they're ready to go. So here you go, Maggie. All right. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. In the meantime, for more recipes and videos, head over to 3minicooks.com.